Hi YouTube, Susan here again, and tonight I have a viewer requested video. Uh, it is a couple of things to do with the Canon PIXMA MG3520 Wi-Fi 3-in-1 printer. Uh, what this viewer has requested is some help with how to scan something and put it on his PC and then either file it in documents or email it uh, as an attachment. Okay, um, so I'm going to walk through all the steps on that and show you how to set it up. Uh, the other thing was how to take the color offline on the printer. Uh, say you're running out of a color or colors and uh, you want to just print just in black because you got lots of black, okay? Uh, it usually lasts much longer than colors anyway. Uh, but you can set the printer to just use the black cartridge. Uh, but it, to do that, you need to tell it to select only the black uh, through your computer. It's a setting. And until you change that saying again, it will print only in black. So that is a nice feature, I think, because once you set it up, you can forget about it until you get your cartridges, and then you have to go back and change that setting to use both cartridges again. Or uh, uh, you can alternately, you can use color only um, if, if the black is what you've run out of. <laughs> but the thing is you can customize it. Anyway, let's get started. Now, when you got your Canon printer, hopefully you've uh, put the software on it that came on the CD that comes with the printer. Uh, and that will give you access to the quick bar here uh, for your printer. Now you can collapse these arms using the arrows, so it's down to one little icon. Uh, or click them, and you've got access to all of the icons you need quick access to. Now for our example tonight, scanning. Okay, The top button on the upright arm is your scanner settings. Okay, Now I'm using auto scan. Uh, which it, it covers both pictures and print. So I leave all of this default. Uh, you can save it in a file. And what I would suggest is put a file on your desktop so it's nice and easy to find. And I labeled mine scanner files. Just generic. It's not specifically documents, it's not specifically pictures, it's just scanner files. So anything I scan will go into that folder. So you have to choose that in your settings, scan, uh, save in scanner files, okay? This gives you access, if you click the uh, drop down menu, it gives you access to save it in the documents, save it in pictures, uh, or your custom folder like, like we're doing here, uh, scanner files. If you need to add a folder, and all it lists is documents and pictures, which it will as default, uh, you click add, and it opens up a box, and you can add. It'll browse to your folder, and you select the folder you want, and then you click OK, and that brings it here. Okay, that gives it a, as an option here. So you click OK, save it, and save uh, scanner files. Now, under application settings, you can choose to open it with an application. You don't need to. Okay, you you can. Um, uh, for tonight, I'm going to say do not start an application, okay? That's the bottom choice, and you click OK. Now, the second icon on this upright arm is your scanner. 
So you click on it and it will trigger a scan. Now for tonight's example, I have put in a magazine. It's going to scan a magazine page with a picture on the top and writing down below. So it kind of covers both. Now once you trigger the scan, you don't interrupt the scanner bed at all. Don't lift the cover to see what it's doing. Just leave it alone and let the bar fill. And then it will do a quick transfer. Here it goes. Boom. Done. Okay, the transfer happened to put it in that folder on my desktop. This folder right here. Okay. Let's get this out of the way and just drag it around. <laughs> okay, there's the folder, scanner files. Click, double click to open it because it's on a desktop. And there is the scanned image. That's what I just scanned in. Okay, now, see, picture on the top, writing below. So that's how it'll, it'll show up. You're going to have to... Uh, familiarize yourself with which side is up on your scan bed and you may have to do another scan if you've got it upside down or whatever because it will transfer it in the position that you put it on the scan bed so anyway that's just a side note <laughs> but there's our image now from here is exactly what he asked for is put it on his PC and there you are it's in a folder on your desktop and you can choose from here to either file it in your documents or email it. Now you select it and you get to choose copy it copy it to your documents you click on documents and that's where it'll stick a copy in. It'll leave the original in this folder and it'll put a copy in your documents or you can choose to move it from this file into your documents okay so that will take it out of this file all together and put it in documents where you chose to put it now should you want to email this as an attachment or in line uh, you simply open your email client I use Outlook as my email but there's lots of email servers out there uh, and you simply go over to insert and you click on that and it'll it'll show you files as attachments pictures in line you know share from OneDrive for this example let's say files as a, attachments okay so you go back to your file click on it and click open now what that's going to do is it sends it to the email and the bar will fill as it's uploaded to your email and you fill in your person you're sending it to their their email address you type whatever you want in the body of the email and once it's uploaded see and it'll tell you uploaded up on the top when it's done it'll it'll say it's done there we go uploaded one of one okay once it's fully uploaded then you can send your email that's it so I'm going to say leave this page because I don't want to email that to anybody. <laughs> that was just an example. Um, anyway, so that is um, it in a nutshell. It's, it's very uh, easy to just follow the steps one by one. You can watch the video several times if you need, you know, to write, write down the steps at a time, you know, and then you can refer to your paper as you're doing it. Now, the other question was for switching to black tank only. Now for this you need uh, you need your file explorer. Now it should have an icon down in the, in the taskbar 
and it looks like a file folder and you click on it and it'll open up a box like this it says this PC it'll have your main folders six main folders that you have the desktop documents downloads videos pictures and music it'll have your devices and drives uh, and networks okay so what you're looking for here is on the top bar right here in the center is open control panel and we need to do that so you click on that okay and you find you locate your devices and printers click on that okay then you scroll you find your printer and it should have a check mark in it as your default printer for this computer so you this is important right click one click with the right button on your mouse click okay it'll come up with a list and what you choose is printer properties that opens up a box and across the top are a bunch of tabs you want the last one maintenance okay last tab maintenance click on it and the last option on the left is ink cartridge settings click on that icon it pops up a box with the settings now this is where you select your ink cartridge to use you, you click on that and there's a drop down list you can choose color only black only or both black and color now we're out of color so let's choose black only and prints using only black cartridge see so you click OK that locks in your choice you click OK again and you can just exit out of this and you're good to go your printer will now only print in black and until you change that setting again you get new cartridges go back in there same way and switch it back to both black and color um, and that's all there is to it so again thanks for this request uh, I think you're you're helping a lot of people too it's not just you having the issue there's there's probably a lot of people that that need this step-by-step -step thing um, to, to figure stuff out it's it's it can be a little intimidating sometimes going through all these uh, folders and choices and settings and <laughs> anyway I hope this has helped and uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one please leave uh, your comments or questions or video requests of your own if there's something you need to uh, walk through uh, just to make it clearer for you maybe writing is not the best way for you to learn maybe you need to see it done which I don't mind doing okay so um, thanks again and uh, we'll see you in the next one